What's up everybody, Sanchez, and we're back with another review, and it's uh, another one's customs piece, and it's his uh, Dream Sequence Myers from Rob Zombie's Movies, the uh, Halloween 2 uh, from 2009. And I've done a lot of Dream Sequence reviews or highlight videos on my channel, uh, a few different ones actually, ones that I've made, other uh, one's customs pieces that I've owned, and this is the most updated dream sequence he's done he hasn't made too many if any after this run that he did uh, I believe he made two at the same time he did um, this one and another one and my good friend Paul Manzi owns the other one they're pretty much exactly identical but I'm gonna go a little bit faster in this review just because you guys have seen dream sequence Myers all the time but this is the most updated formula unless he's gonna do another run and uh, definitely definitely a big piece uh, it's on a basketball body as a uh, Rob Zombie Myers should be because he was a giant and this depicts obviously the part where he comes out of the van uh, once it crashes and he severs off the guy's head uh, obviously he didn't have the axe in that scene but I just like displaying him with the axe uh, that's the axe he kills Buddy the security guard in at the hospital when he's in the dream sequence mode uh, chasing Lori or Lori's having the dream but let's get into the accessories real quick so first of all he gives you a secondary hand and it's bloody and gory and I love the pose it's uh, definitely a uh, basketball hand and it has a magnet inside which he obviously put in there so and the cool thing is so you can take the secondary accessory of the severed guy's head which look at all that detail it doesn't fully resemble the actor uh, definitely not but all the cuts and everything's accurate in the facial expression but then you put it on there and it would hold the head if you were to have it on on his body as you guys can see something like that I just don't want to take it apart because this is how I display the figure and you guys can see the gory goodness that is a severed head by Once Customs. Then you guys can see the glass piece where he actually severed the guy's head with. And it's definitely bloody. It's a big shard. It's not real glass, thankfully, because I else I'd cut myself because I'm a big baby and I'm clumsy. But definitely an accessory that's necessary. And yes, it fits in the hands, so you can display him with this while he's holding the other head. And then you have a sculpted base, which obviously it's a uh, base of the road because you have the lines, the separating lines that would be in the middle of the road. And it's fully sculpted, has blood, uh, concrete look. I think he killed it. And I think it's a really awesome, awesome look. As you guys can see, the COA, Rob Zombie, Bloody Michael, six skill, custom figure by Montwain Gonzalez, always calling him by his government. And it is a 2019 run. So this is the last time he's done a dream sequence that I know of unless he it was something was made as a private commission but publicly this is the last time he's tackled it now let's start from the figure from the boots up as you guys can see these boots are not the ordinary boots you see being used uh, which I like they're definitely uh, pretty accurate I love the weathering on them and the stress uh, creases and then as you guys move up, you see the coveralls that are weathered and bloody. And they, he has the buttons on the side, which is very important to this Myers, you guys can see. And I love the bagginess and how it drapes over the figure. Now, in the movie, I would say my critique is the movie coveralls were actually a darker brown, but that's all right. Once Customs has his take on it, and uh, we don't know what material was available at the time that he was making this. So this is definitely an accurate depiction, just, you know, a little bit conceptualized. But moving up, you guys can see the bloody axe with the bloody hands. Absolutely awesome work. Uh, I believe it's an outsourced axe, but I'm not too sure he could have made it. Uh, but definitely goried up by him and definitely customized by him. Absolutely awesome look. And then you have the pockets. Uh, and those are very accurate and uh, some of you guys might be saying oh where's the chest piece patch and the patch on his left arm yeah in the second movie he didn't have it that was only the first one 
That's one detail they didn't put in the sequel. So it's actually very accurate. So Mon Twain got you on that one. And then you guys can see the zippers. Very good uh, attention to detail and the uh, accurate bloodied up and browned up undershirt. And then the greatest dream sequence sculpt of all, Once Customs Dream Sequence Rob Zombie head sculpt, which I absolutely love. It's bloody, it's accurate, and it's mean. And I love how it's stylized. So definitely, definitely he makes the best hobos and dream sequences and buyers on the planet. But I do absolutely love it. Uh, we've tackled it, as you guys seen, uh, uh, the head sculpt that we made at Rotted Figures. Still a project that we're doing. We're doing a second version, but still, love One's Customs. I think he's king with the Myers. Then I'm going to give you a quick shot of the back, because it's got all the accurate folds, stitching, pockets, hammer loops. It's all correct. This figure's going to fucking fall. Oh my god. And there you guys go. Very bloody, very accurate, awesome piece. Gonna give you guys a last perspective before I sign out. Well guys, thank you so much for staying for this review. And uh, as always, stay sick, and I will catch you folks on the next one. Peace. What's good? It's your boy One coming at you once again! <laughs>